<laughs> People of Earth. <laughs> It is I, Kronos. <laughs> Kronos the monkey. <laughs> You're probably wondering why I've travelled from my distant planet of talking monkeys. <laughs> which, by the way, is awesome. <laughs> I'll tell you why. Because the great Don Rickles is here tonight. Yeah. Excited because on my planet we worship him as a god. <laughs> and also he looks a bit like a monkey. I didn't really mean it. I didn't. <laughs> Quiet, he'll hear me. But he does look a little bit like a monkey. <laughs> An attractive monkey, which of course all monkeys are to me. I've really got nothing tonight, I've got to be honest with you. Not a lot going on. It wasn't like nobody threw a shoe at anybody. It's, it's been a really kind of quiet day around here. Uh, to be honest, I'm not really from another planet either. I'm from Detroit. And, uh, yeah. <clears throat> I've got a bit of a cough as well. Uh, so, yeah. Hey, uh, you know, I'm naked, though, apart from my little jacket. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, anyway, I tell you what, um, I'll just nip off and uh, get some pants and um, I'll see you later. <laughs> Thank you very much for that completely realistic applause. <laughs> Everybody at home believes it too. <laughs> oh, hey, you know what? What? I'm sorry for shouting. Especially if you've got your uh, miracle ear in. Have you seen that thing? <laughs> it looks like you've got a Bluetooth, but really you can't hear anything. <laughs> you look like a yuppie. <laughs> It's a great day for America, though, because there's a new study out about old people. I love old people. And the, the, I do. They're, they're lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of them. <laughs> anyway, the old people, they store bad memories, like, you know, unpleasant memories. They store them differently to the, to the rest of us. In a related story, John McCain just announced he's running for president. I don't know if that's <laughs> any way... Also... Another new report came out today. Where are all these reports coming from? Report to Stan? Yes. Anyway, this report says that the economic downturn is even affecting prostitution. What? what? You go too far, sir. Yep. They're saying that if things get any worse, men may be forced to have sex with their wives. Ha 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 ha. Now. Joke, of course, was from the original Great Depression in the 1930s. That, that was the joke that got America back on its feet. So I thought I'd give it a crack and see if it'll do it again. By the way, do you know what today, on this day in 1773, the Boston Tea Party took place? Oh, yeah. Mm, yeah. It's an amazing story. A bunch of young men dressed like Indians getting all worked up over tea bags. <laughs> <laughs> I 
could almost be a party at Elton John's house. The, the, no, the bad news... Oh, stop it now. Knock it off. The big news is, uh, of course, from Wall Street, that big investment company that collapsed. Do you hear about this? There's a guy named Bernie Madoff, or Madoff. Anyway, he made off with a lot of money. <laughs> he cost investors $50 billion. I know! <laughs> the experts are saying that the stock market is governed by two emotions, greed and fear. Experts say the same thing about me. <laughs> That's right. There are Craig Ferguson experts. Uh, you can find them in the internet chat rooms. You know, they talk about me and their cats. And, uh, <laughs> how much I suck. <laughs> Don't you patronise me. Somebody awed me. Don't you awe me unless you mean it. <laughs> no, you didn't then. Ah, too late. Anyway, in this scam where the people lost all the money, a lot of the rich celebrities in Hollywood were caught up in this scheme. Rest assured, I am safe. <laughs> Your laughter cuts me. <laughs> well, I'm safe because A, I'm not a celebrity, and B, I'm not rich. I mean, come on, I work at CBS and I've been divorced twice. How much money can I have? <laughs> anyway, I'm talking about... Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> well done, Craig. We applaud your failures. I... <laughs> <laughs> I know. Uh, anyway, I'm talking about the Hollywood Titans were affected. You know, Steven Spielberg, Jeffrey Katzenberg, the uh, president of Disney, what Disney, uh, uh, Scrooge McDuck. He, uh... <laughs> now, here's how the guy, uh, the Madoff guy, uh, screwed everybody. What he did is he'd take money from new investors and he would use it to pay off the old investors, but he never invested anything. <laughs> Wish I'd thought of that. It's... Uh... <laughs> It's called a Ponzi scheme. It's named after a guy called Charge Ponzi. Char Charge, Charge Ponzi. Charge Ponzi. It's a very unusual name, isn't it? Charge Ponzi. Charles Ponzi, but he's, uh, I think he's uh, Dutch, and the Dutch version of Charles is Charge. <laughs> All right, I'm drunk. Uh, Charles Ponzi was the guy that started this scheme. Do we have a picture of Ponzi? There, yeah. <laughs> Ponzi! He never stole anything. Except perhaps my heart. <laughs> Call me Henry. Uh, I was surprised to see that Steven Spielberg lost money. I, I think, I always thought, I, I, I think he's kind of a regular guy, Spielberg. I like him. He doesn't, you see him around town, he doesn't seem to be cursed with the same arrogance as all these other, you know, guys in his position. He, you know, he drives, he's got a pretty regular car, you see him and the kids in the back. And, you know, he's got so much money, this guy, he could be chauffeured around in a gold chariot, but he's just like everybody else. He, his servants put on his pants one leg at a time. <laughs> Thank you, Carruthers, and now the other one. Ah, bless you. <laughs> anyway, I, I, you know, Spielberg should do, you know what he should do? He should make another E.T. movie. I love that movie. And you know what? What happened to the little E.T.? Because he made one movie and he was never heard from again. <laughs> it's another tragic Hollywood story. A little guy gets too much too fast and before you know it, he's on skid row trading sex for crack. <laughs> <laughs> E.T. found homeless shelter. <laughs> E.T. love you long time. We, we can't know that for sure. Anyway, it seems like the economy, and you know, it's so bad, the only surefire way to make money right now is to divorce Madonna. <laughs> Did you hear what he's getting? Guy Ritchie is getting $76 million from Madonna in the divorce settlement. Hello! That's right! One for the guys! A lot of people are making fun of Guy Ritchie. I say fair play to him. He earned every penny of that 76 million. You're married to her. I mean, you break down, you know, how much he's getting. It works out to 50 cents every time she mentioned the Kabbalah. So right there. I just want to talk about the Kabbalah. I used to be a girl from Detroit. Now I'm an English bloke. How you doing? All right. 
Well, I'm a material girl. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, no, Stardust. <Father. laughs> Take that, Madonna, who's never done anything against me. <laughs> what am I talking about? Money, money. I have to admit, I am a cheap. I'm a very cheap person. I have a weird cheapness. Like, I'll stay in a fancy hotel, but I, oh, I won't let the... When I get out of the car, I won't let the guy <laughs> take my bags. I won't let him... Like, I won't give him two bucks. I can't let... You know, I, I can't give you two bucks to carry my bag. I'll carry my own bag. And then, strangely, later on in the day, I'll pay him hundreds of dollars to dance the lambada in his cute little outfit. <laughs> I've said too much. Let's take a break. We'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the big show where we're giving away all our money. We don't have any money. <laughs> But that's money thing. You know what a lot of people, they enjoy seeing the rich people losing their money? Not me. Because, no, I sure, I like to see rich bastards crying like little bitches as much as anybody else. <laughs> but I can't... <laughs> boo-hoo, yes, boo-hoo. Welcome aboard. But I can't help thinking, though, that the rich folks are like the canaries in the coal mine. I mean, if the rich douchebags are losing their shirts, things are going to get very tricky for the rest of us. <laughs> I might be alone in this. I don't know. I mean, most of these guys, you know, most people work hard to get their money they're losing. They, they didn't start out rich. They didn't all get their money from their father, like Trump. He got... Yeah, Trump did. Oh, I know he talks a big game. Oh, think big, dark, kick ass. Ah, oh, you're fired. <laughs> bah! Bah, bah, what the hell is that? Bah! But it's all family money. It's family money. You know what book he should write? He should, he should write a book, How to Get Rich Parents. That's what he should write. <laughs> anyway, I've got an investment strategy. Very simple. I put all my money under my mattress and keep all my porn in my wallet. <laughs> I give out some very interesting tips. <laughs> Great job washing my car. Here's uh, Miss October. <laughs> Do you know when I was talking about Madonna? Did you see that cell phone footage of Madonna falling down last week? Yeah. Uh, it was awesome. Well, take a look at this. <laughs> I know. I look, I don't, no, don't applaud that. Don't be mean. It's awful. <laughs> be awful to show that clip just for a laugh. It would be cheap and exploitative. The, the only thing more cheap and exploitative would be showing it again with a funny sound effect. Let's have a look at that. I'd like to spend the rest of the show apologising to Madonna. I think we've been too rough on her tonight. <laughs> nah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> anyway, the holiday season, of course, is here. It's time for us to check in uh, on an old friend. Take a look at this. And now, a Sean Connery holiday memory. December 21st, 1981. I was the Grand Marshal of the Hollywood Christmas Parade. I got so drunk, I fell off a horse. I was so embarrassed, I quit shagging horses entirely. <laughs> all right, all right, that's Sean Corey. We'll be right back, everybody. We'll be right back. I got this idea from watching Real Sex on HBO. <laughs> <laughs> what is sexy about rubbing somebody with a feather? It's just annoying! <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? Oh, I think you know what I'm doing. Yeah, I think I know what you're doing! You're 
irritating me? Am I? Am I irritating you? Am I irritating you? Your sexy bits? No! <laughs> <laughs> can you say sexy bits on CBS? I don't think you can, actually. Oh, you can? Oh, hooray. Well, that's good news. I think we'll call it the big sexy bits show from now on. Anyway, I can't be talking about sexy bits. <laughs> actually, I can. Uh, but we've got it. Do we have time for an email, do we? Yes, oh. All right, oh. Christmas email. Very nice. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, oh dear. It's my favourite part of Christmas, that email jingle. All right, um, this is from uh, Cody in uh, Salt Lake in Utah. Isn't Kathy Lee's kid called Cody? Did, did she always talk about Cody every day on that show? When she was on with Regis, you know, like, oh, Cody did this, Cody did that. I'm like, oh, screw Cody. <laughs> Cody's so great. What age is Cody now? He's like 40 or something, isn't he? <laughs> Have I upset somebody? <laughs> probably. Yeah, probably. Anyway, this is Cody in Salt Lake. It's a different Cody, or maybe it's not. Uh, Cody in Salt Lake, which is in Utah, he says, Dear Craig, what's the difference between a wizard and a magician? <laughs> Go back to your video game. <laughs> Actually, you probably should. Tonight's show isn't that good. Go back to your video game. <laughs> Uh, <clears throat> hey, well, here's another one from Salt Lake City. What? What are the odds? About 50 to 1, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, more than that. It's got to be more than that. Anyway, Spencer in Salt Lake City. I wonder if I should introduce Spencer to that other dude that I can't remember. What was his name? Oh, Cody! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spencer and Cody, they could meet up and talk about wizards and magicians and stuff. <laughs> Anyway, uh, uh, Spencer says, I'm emailing you from my iPod. Isn't that cool? Oh, yes. Very, very cool indeed. <laughs> very cool. It's as cool as being a wizard. <laughs> uh, this is from Josh in Iraq. I'm guessing he's not originally from there. Uh, <laughs> That's not an Iraqi name, Josh, is it? Nah. Anyway, Josh in Iraq says, Craig, thanks for your non-denominational seasonings greetings. Oh, you're welcome. You are on at 7 p.m. in Iraq. What? Are we on in Iraq? <laughs> I've been saying all these mean things about Al-Qaeda. They'll come after me. <laughs> but we're also on in America. It wouldn't be a good idea to say nice things about Al-Qaeda. <laughs> nah, screw it. <laughs> Al-Qaeda. There, I said. <laughs> Please. <laughs> anyway, they're all in Pakistan now. And, uh, and we're not on there until after three o'clock in the morning or something. Uh. Anyway, uh, uh, thanks for your non denominational season's greetings. You're on at 7 p.m. in Iraq, so you should change the name of your shoe. Your shoe. Your shoe. Change the name of your shoe. And throw it at President Bush. Uh, change the name of your show to the CBS Iraqi Evening News. All right, let's talk to CBS about that. Changing the name of the show to the Iraqi Evening News. <laughs> we'll get another viewer. <laughs> uh, this is from Stephanie in Jacksonville in Illinois. Stephanie says, uh, will you be our governor? Oh yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I've got the hair for it. <laughs> Governor of Illinois, I'll give you 40, 45 bucks. <laughs> how much does it cost? I don't know how much it costs to be governor of Illinois. Is it more than that? How much was he charging for the Senate seat? I mean, do anyone know? Do you remember? Yeah. What he was trying to get? One mil. Well, he, was trying, he was charging one million dollars. <laughs> oh! <laughs> he should have asked for more, really, shouldn't he? <laughs> well, he's certainly going to get something now. <sighs> well, we should probably take a break. Because Don Rickles is here! We'll take a break and then Don Rickles is here.
Welcome back, everybody. So I got I got this book. Uh, it's written by uh, the comedy legend who's just won two Emmy Awards. It's a very new book. It's a very, very clever title, Rickles Letters. And it's... Uh, <laughs> And it's a bunch of letters written by uh, the comedy legend that is Don Rickles. And look, there's one to me. Yeah, it's, it's really, really flattering as well. <laughs> we'll talk about that. Please welcome the legend that is America's treasure, Don Rickles, everybody. <laughs> You'll just get him started. Okay, Let's, that's about it for me. Yeah. I know. Very right. nice to see wait, you. Don. Wait a minute. Let me thank them, huh? Well, okay then. Come on. Stop. Pull yourself together. This is an important night for me. <laughs> really? Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That was very kind. I, you know, as you get older and get in this business a long time, it's great when people receive you as you do, and I and I thank you so much. And for that, no. I... Okay. Now, getting back to you, the yeah. monologue was weak. The monologue was weak. Uh, <laughs> I thought you might notice. Not really. No, no, no. I was, make yeah. fun of Greg. Like, we, know each we, were at, we were at a dinner party together with Regis Philbin, remember? Yeah, yeah. I always like going out with Regis because you know where your money's going to go. Yeah. No, no, no. <laughs> Sweetheart. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. What is it? What are you about? I'm wrestling just, I'm referee? Just, I'm trying to keep the audience awake. Come on. Well, you only got seven people here. What yes. are you making a fuss for? <laughs> Paid, we can't afford it anymore. <laughs> Anything great? Yeah, yeah. Ah, I listen, can't, I can't. listen to your book of letters. Right, yeah. I, I, can I read out a little bit of the letter you sent to me? What is this, like? Germany? Yeah, 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 yeah. all right. <laughs> Dear Craig, I'm writing to give you an alert. Work on your accent. I know you became a US citizen, but after watching many of your shows, immigration has taken another long, hard look at your credentials. <laughs> They're seriously considering pressing charging and sending you back to your native Scotland where you'll get, be more comfortable doing your former job herding sheep. <laughs> it's amazing how a guy in a kilt got to be a big star. It's kind of odd, though, that the whole audience lays on the floor looking up. <laughs> From what I've heard, there's not much to see. Yours truly, Don Rickles. Now, come on! <laughs> You get, you get to a lot of people in here, my friend. Yeah, well, I, you know, it's a fun thing to write. I, I, I imagined a, a book I'd write to all kinds of friends, living or dead, you know, and, and thank God you're alive. And I uh. said, as a mercy thing, I'd put you in the book. <laughs> and, uh, but no, you, you're a friend, and I, and I wanted to say a few words about D you. Did you, uh, did you put uh, Trump in the book? How long have you had, ha, 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 had that? What? Anyway, uh, did what? I'm working with a guy with a problem. <laughs> Makes seven million dollars a week, and he stands here going. Hi, 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 hi. Seven million dollars a week. How can you sit there and say that? You know CBS. Why are you hollering? You're going back to Scotland in the morning. Oh, How can you Man say that? Man is hollering. To me? For Why is he dressed up like a yo-yo over there? Why uh, is... You can't say yo-yo anymore. Oh. You have to say yo-yo American. Yeah, you yeah, can't. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah. Anyway, That's a, you got you got letters in here to God. Yeah, it's a, it's an interesting book, but why talk about that? It's it's a hit, and I don't need it. Oh, really? Anyway, uh, all right. Listen, congratulations about the Emmys, by the way. It was so fantastic. Before to see I say you. that, by the way, oh, David yeah, yeah. David uh, David uh, Ritz, a uh, fine writer, helped yeah. me put this together. And I think uh, as for Christmas and so forth, it's an interesting thing. My uh, wife needs jewelry. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think she'll be doing okay. It was. Uh... It was very nice to see you getting these well-deserved uh, Emmys at the uh, at that fantastic show we were. Well, you know, Craig, and, and, and you ladies and gentlemen, you know, uh, being in this business 55 years and my age, uh, I was so delighted, really, to receive an Emmy. You know, yeah. it's the, your peers and it's a thing called... Uh, And as you know, Craig, it's called Mr. Warmth, the, the Don Rickles Project, and my son Larry and uh, uh, John Landis, a wonderful director, and uh, Bob Eggleman and uh, Mike Richardson, they all helped put it together. 
and uh, Tony O and uh, Paul Sheffern. We had a great team, and they just, and we went to different actors. We went, the, the guy I, I adore, uh, amongst many, uh, Clint Eastwood is one of my yeah, guys. Clint I, Eastwood, yes. But uh, going to Bob De Niro and asking him to do the part, we said, Bob, Don would like you to say a few words. He went, well, what do you want me to say? Well, and John said, well, say, say he's a good actor. He's a good actor. These are the kind of things. And Clint, another, both of these men make fortunes. And they're wonderful gentlemen. They really are, besides being great actors. But you talk to Clint, you say, you know, Clint, how about dinner tomorrow? <laughs> I did a picture called, why do you lean over? Can't you hear me? I'm sorry, I can't understand your accent. Oh, what did you say? He leans over like we're, like we're in court. Hello. <laughs> I, no, like, I, I was in, step back, you're scaring I'm me. I'm just anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, Clint, Clint Eastwood, you know, uh, and all these. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. You Clint said Eastwood, I'm like, I'm I know, the, I know. You're gay. I know. Uh, <laughs> European, but it's much the same no, thing. No. I, uh, you were going to tell me about this, uh, Clint Eastwood thing. What did you do, just cut meat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jump ball. Yeah, tell no, me about, uh, your, uh, tell uh, me about uh, your, your dinner with Clint Eastwood. Oh, with, with Clint Eastwood, uh, and, and, and Clint's a, another one of kind of guy, but everything is low-key, you know, yeah. and they, they don't like to be seen. And the last time I was with Clint once, we had dinner, and we did a picture called Kelly's Heroes in Yugoslavia. I love that picture. That's and, a great picture. Uh, 40, 40 years ago. Really? Trust me. Everybody was going, dobra, dobra, dobra. And, uh, you know, Clint was uh, running around going, dobra, dobra. And when you eat, it made Mexico a warm-up. The runs were like a, like, a, like a mystery. I swear to God. <laughs> Every time I had dinner, I went, oh, oh. <laughs> and, and the guy went, dobra, dobra. They put oil, olive oil, Craig, olive oil, buckets of olive oil. And you well, just... that, that, that goes right through you, the olive oil. Where were you? What, are you a cop? Yes. <laughs> That's right, I'm a gay European cop. <laughs> what? <laughs> At what point? Actually, it's not a bad idea. No, so uh, Yugoslavia was a great experience. Sully Savalas, rest his soul, he, he was something else. I miss him and Carol O'Connor. And, in fact... You know, and, and all these gentlemen, they're in a, we like to think a better world anyway, but the way things are today, I don't know how people say a better world. Yeah. But uh, my, my son goes up in my dressing room and on the wall has all these actors and he goes, dead, dead, oh. dead, cancer, dying, dead, dead. And then he looks at me and says, you feel okay? Oh. <laughs> You take a lot of that from your kids. They, they give you a lot of talk back. Uh, yeah, I got to be nice because if I get in a home someday and I'm spitting up, they're going to be standing over the bed going, Dad, we're not paying for the hospital. Yeah. <laughs> no, know? they're great. Uh, I have a daughter, Mindy, uh, a wonderful daughter and a wonderful son, and they've been good to me. You know, today, uh, our, our children, you know, it's a cycle. They're going to take care of us eventually. All right. And my, my son and daughter have been very good, and I've been very good to them, and... Uh, I delve out a few bucks once in a while, and they go, thanks, Dad. And then they go, go, he's so cheap. Anyway. Uh, are no, you going to be, are you that, be that, with that, them wait, for Wait, I'm not finished. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> That's a joke about being cheap. Yeah. That's my daughter will say, Dad, she talks like my wife. My wife is this. She'd say, sweetheart, how'd you like the show? Just great. Let's go to dinner. <laughs> are you finished? Yeah. All right. Are uh, you going to... Uh... Are you going to spend Christmas? Do you celebrate Christmas? Sure. Well, oh. Jews, we can participate. We sell you the trees. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I celebrate, I celebrate uh, Christmas Eve, uh, every Christmas Eve, God willing, with our dear friends, the darling Ginny Newhart and her husband Bob, Bob Newhart, oh, right, a yeah. great comedian and yeah. a great friend. And we spend every Christmas together. And my favorite time is when we sit by the tree and he reads the book of Jesus. I'm not and, familiar and, and, with that and, and, one. And then, you, and, and, and then, you know, see, Bob is... We, we've traveled the world together with the New Hearts. Right. And God bless him. Before 9-11, we went all over the world, really. And I, like in Germany, when we were in Germany, you know, uh, we, we'd walk down the street and Bob would say, uh, don't, 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 don't kid around. Don't, 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 don't say anything. Don't, don't. And I'd go like, Stumm in Heim in Stein. No, you shouldn't do that in Germany. And he'd go, don't, don't, don't do that. You're going to get in trouble. But he's a great, a great gentleman, and his wife Jen. And we spend Christmas Eve, and they sing the you, carols. You sing carols? You do all that? No, no. I stand in the back and figure out how many gifts I had to give. Well, I don't know. I don't know if.
if you sing the carols or not because you're Jewish. I don't know if you if you have uh, you know if you have to stand back from. We Christmas. have great cantors. You've heard of a cantor? Oh yes, of cantorial course. Cantorial chants. Yes. We made it up before you guys. Yes, for yes, I know. <laughs> All I'm saying is though, but it's not. Silent night, baby Jesus. You're starting oh, to get on the... my nerves. You're well, starting to get saying. on my nerves. <laughs> baby Jesus, when are, is he in town? Anyway, uh, no. Now th three Catholics went. <laughs> <laughs> And you go back out in the road, you do in the, uh, the, you do the casinos, don't you? Oh, the, I, I sure yeah. do. I do the Indian casinos. And the only problem is every time I work, they keep circling the hotel with hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Pain in the ass. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> they, they keep circling and boom, and then I have to be nice. And the chief always comes up and goes, we like show what they get when they were. <laughs> then I got to go outside and wash their horse, for crying out loud. <laughs> Don, Don, I, I played at Indian casinos. That's not true. You're, ju you're just making well, that up. Well, that's why I'm a star and you're sitting all right, all right. I guess that's the way it is. Don Rickles, everybody. Have a right back. Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back. Uh, my next guest is a very beautiful actress. She stars in uh, the show Privileged, which is uh, Tuesdays on the CW. What? <laughs> I told you where it's on. Now go and watch it. <laughs> Please welcome the very lovely Joanna Garcia, everybody. Joanna Garcia. Welcome, welcome, Joanna. Let me just get myself or situated here. Well, you, you I had wriggle to away, do whatever you need like to a do. Lady in my dressing room. Well, you, you, they have a dressing room back there? Yeah, it's with chocolates and everything, the whole really? nine. Not for me. You know, um, you introduced my show as Privileged, but I think I'm going to now rename it as The Sexy Bits Show. Oh, that's a great what do you idea. Think? Name it The Sexy Bits Show. You I can just wanted to hear him say it again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Where's your feather? <laughs> I, I, I've got my feather right here. I'll give you a rub with it. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you sure you want this? Don't, I think I totally, this the whole time. I right. work really well like this. All right. Here you go. <laughs> really? Totally. You know, I should really get one it of these. It is actually I, extremely annoying. It is. It's annoying. <laughs> yeah. You know, do you ever watch the real sex show on no, HBO? No, no. It's awesome. What happens is you get a lot of people who have got no business taking their clothes off. Totally. Taking their clothes off. Yeah. And putting on leather. I hear you. Oh yeah. I um, I had to wear a bra and underwear on my show last week, and me I was, too. Uh, <laughs> that's actually why I decided to do your show. Oh right, yeah. So um, looking good, baby. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, you know, um, what no, I eat? <laughs> me too. Actually, I don't at Neither all. Neither do I. We eat on uh, our show. Yeah. But yeah, I was really grumpy about it, so I sort of have a new policy. Even though I'm a young actress, you think that I would want to like explore the. Maybe nudity one day. Sure, but it's yeah. Not, it's well, not you'd happening. Hope. You, I was you really yeah. grumpy. I, it's not happening. You, you know, you don't like doing the nudity on the. No, I I was really close to making everyone else get there with me. So that's and, awesome. That's I know. truly it awesome. Was good. Yeah, that, that it was. It wasn't even Friday. If you got so. nude, no, I'd get nude. <laughs> I can't, I There's can't. way too much going on here. You don't it's... have enough time in your show to get me completely Hey, we'd make time. But, <laughs> the, the, uh, but the thing is that it's very cold in this studio, and for gentlemen, that's not what you want. Uh, <laughs> no. Wait, it's cold in here, though, isn't it? It is cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you from? Do you I'm like from the cold? Florida. Thought you wouldn't like the cold, then. No, I'm not really into it at all. Although my brother lived in Chicago, he and his wife, and, and my nephew was born in Chicago, and we went there last year. And I was, it just, it's very cold. It's cold. Too cold. Yeah. It's really. What part of Florida are you from? Tampa. I yeah, a little I've mix of like cracker, you know, a little country and a little Latin, which is sort of what I am. Really? So I fit in. I, I hope I fit in well there. Yeah, yeah. No, I think uh, Gar Garcia is. Uh, yes. Is, uh, my dad's Cuban. Right. Yeah, okay. So. Yes, they have some Cuban people in Florida. I know. There's that. a yeah. few of them. Yeah. My. D <laughs> have you ever been to Spain? No, I. Well, I went one time for actually a day. How could you go to Spain for a day? It's miles away. <laughs> it's a long story. Right. And we'll talk about it later. But it was fun. <laughs> yeah. I, I. Okay. Um. But. <laughs> <laughs> but in, in Spain, they don't say Garcia, they say Garcia. Garcia, which, yeah. well, I won't tell you what my abuela says of people that talk with that lisp. 
Why wouldn't you tell? You wouldn't tell no. me anything. No, I will. We can talk about we can talk about anything else. All right, uh, so, but but not Spain. No. And not. Uh, we'll about... talk about Florida, but um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. If you want to talk. Where are you? You're from Scotland. No, Florida. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I'm from Orlando. <laughs> yeah. You definitely strike me as an Orlando <laughs> Orlandoan. I like Florida actually. I've spent a lot of time in Delray Beach in Florida. Oh, it's beautiful down yeah, there. Yeah, I like yeah. Delray Beach. Yeah, I, they've got that. Pause. Uh, Maybe there's someone. No, from have Delray. you ever been to that cafe they've got in Delray Beach where they have the lesbian poetry night. No. Oh, awesome. It sounds amazing. It's awesome. You will laugh Some... till you pee your pants at this lesbian poetry. Some it's great. real talent coming yes. out of Florida. Yes, no, it's just great. Yeah, I... I mean, and the thing is, you're not allowed to laugh, so it's oh, really so funny. It's super funny. Yeah. <laughs> Kind of reminds me of church when I grew up. Yeah, it's yeah. Well, it's lesbian not like church poets. where I. You know, <laughs> no, there were no lesbian poets in Scottish churches, <laughs> or maybe there were. <laughs> you, I'm I pretty know. positive there were in mine. Do you do you like Los Angeles? I, I do. I've been here for ten years. It's right. fun. I actually I miss Florida for all all of the southern stuff, and I'm a big country music fan. I did a show with Reba McIntyre for six years. So oh yeah, she, you did Reba. Yeah, I was all blonde. I actually um, Davis, the security guard here. I, I saw him as I was as I was pulling up, and he was like, "Who, you you were blonde yeah. for six years, and now you're a redhead." But so um, was Davis actually blonde? Yeah, for yeah. yeah, yeah. No, he looks he looks great bald. He's, you know, yeah, he's, yeah. You know, he took it off. No, <laughs> hey, sometimes that's what you got to do. Yeah, exactly. Take it off anyway. Yeah. Um, but yeah, no, I do. I actually hit the LA County Fair this year, and it was so classy. Really? I mean, we they still had the fried Twinkies and like the whole nine that really kind of bring me back the corn dogs and stuff. I like love that. corn dogs. You, you do? Yes, do you I really like? Corn, I do like corn, corn dogs. dogs. In no, but they make similar things using sheep. I ate haggis. Haggis is kind of like a corn dog, except <laughs> not as classy, really. I, I, well, I, I went there with my family, and they always tried to get me to eat strange things growing up, and that's a whole nother show. That's a, yeah. So, so, the, so with the shows we have to do then, <laughs> let's see, are the Spain show, the Naked show, and the corn dog show. Yes. All right. I'll let you know when I have time for that. All right, then. The in the meantime, <laughs> thank you so much for coming thank in. Thank you. The lovely Joanna Garcia, everybody. We'll be right back. Mm. What do you say we take this onto the bed? <laughs> Are you okay? Ow. 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 Oh, I think you're bleeding. I don't care who you are, a farting cat is funny. <laughs> if you don't think a farting cat is funny, go and join Al-Qaeda, why don't you? On you go! You'll be happier there amongst your own kind. <laughs> now, what I learned... <laughs> what I learned on the show tonight is that when you're interviewing Don Rickles, you better let him plug his next casino gig or else you'll have to do it at the end of the show yourself. <laughs> So guess what I learned that Don Rickles is playing the Buffalo Thunder Casino in Santa Fe, New Mexico on December the 28th. <laughs> Buffalo Thunder, yeah. Isn't, isn't Buffalo Thunder a Bob Marley song at some point? <laughs> Buffalo Thunder. <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, maybe not. I, uh... I also found out that you can say sexy bits on CBS. <laughs> Which I will probably do again, actually, until they decide that I'm overdoing it. You know what they say, what the, the censors say, where if you say a dirty word that they let you say, but if you say it too often, they say, you can't say it too often, that's tonnage. True. So I can say sexy bits, sexy bits, sexy bits, and then there'll come a point where they say, all right, you can't say sexy bits, and then I'll just say...